Hello everyone, it's Dark here with another video, and in this video we're going to discuss uh, obtaining flying in World of Warcraft versus Final Fantasy XIV, uh, with putting special focus on the the most recent expansions in both games. So we're going to start off with World of Warcraft, um, and the way you have um, obtained flying in the past few expansions, like BFA, Legion, Warlords of Draenor, has been through a reputation system and uh, I can show you guys here by going to the reputations so for example in BFA um, you had uh, a bunch of factions like the Seventh Legion, Champions of Adaroth, uh, Order of Ember, Proud Merlati and what you needed to do in Storm's Wake and the Tortolan Seekers and what you had to do was to get exalted with all of these factions to be able to get flying and um, just to show you guys how much that is, so there's a 6,000 you need to get initially to get it to get honored. And then you need another 12,000 to get revered. And then you need another 21,000 to get exalted. So you need to do that for uh, five different uh, factions. And, uh, and usually the way that worked is there were daily quests that you could do. And each of them gave usually around... Um, 80 to 100 rep um, and occasionally you did get some um, you get you got instances where you could get like a 1500 rep uh, but in general it was a very slow process um, it was a way for blizzard to time gate flying um, so generally in the first or second patch um, you wouldn't have flying until you know much later on where you were able to get all the reputations up and then you could actually get flying. Um, so it's a pretty slow process um, and uh, in my opinion pretty boring uh, where you have to log on every day to kind of do the dailies and the dailies are usually quests which are the, you know, the same thing, not too different. Um, in Shadowlands, which is the latest expansion, they have taken a, a different approach so um you have a renowned system you have you 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 have a covenant and you have a you can think of it as a level or renown renown as they call it and in shadowlands apparently um in the coming patch which is 9.1 once you get to renown level 44 it seems like the flying will open and um so it is a different approach they are moving away from that reputation model but again uh, for the first part of Shadowlands, it's been, I don't know how long it's been now, five or six months. We didn't have flying at all, so that's just the way that they approach it. Um, before this, um, if you guys, I know TBC is, uh, has just launched it for one or two weeks now. So in the past, it was, uh, there was, it was gated by gold. So you had to spend a lot of, uh, gold to actually get flying. So it was 5,000. Um, and it was not easy to get that much gold in WoW, and it's still not easy. But with that being said, let's uh, jump into Final Fantasy XIV. So in Final Fantasy XIV, they have taken quite a different approach, a completely different system than uh, World of Warcraft. And the way it works is that, um, and, and this was the case in all three of the expansions that I'm playing right now, I'm at the last one. Uh, Shadowbringers, and the way it works is that um, throughout the world, uh, in each zone, there are these currents that you see on the screen here, these um, Aether currents, uh, and you have to go collect them across the map, and um, there is a, uh, they do provide the UI so you can see how many of them you collected, so um, for example, in this zone, you can see I've collected five of them. There's another five left for me to collect. So as you go, as you're exploring the world, you you actually go to these currents and you click on them and you collect them. And once you have collected all the green ones and all the yellow ones, and the yellow ones are basically quests. So there are these side quests that you do and then um, those provide you with these yellow bars. So once you have all the green ones and all the yellow ones, then you actually can fly in the zone. So there's no um, gating criteria for flying in Final Fantasy XIV. Um, 
what this helps you do uh, with these currents is it helps you explore the world. Um, it helps you um, go to the different parts of the map and actually um, see the world and it's easy enough to actually collect them. And what they do to help with the collecting process is that they give you an, a compass. And basically when you um, use the compass, um, as you can see on the screen, it tells you where you need to go. Um, so north, west, north, and, um, and you, it's very simple and straightforward to go and collect these currents. And the side quests are also pretty easy. Um, it's not like a rocket science where it's not dailies where you have to keep repeating something over and over again. And just to show you guys, all you need to do is just right click on the current and that's, you know, pretty much all there is to it. Um, so it was very, um, I was very shocked in a sense that they have such a simple and easy system in place for getting flying. There's no grind and grind and grind for no reason. Um, and um, I think it's really good. I mean, I don't know what you guys think uh, of when looking at this for the first time, but when I actually experienced this for the first time, I was pretty shocked that um, you know, the players were treated such so nicely, I guess. And I think the mentality of um, making people play the game every day because they want to do flying uh, and they have to grind and repeat the same dailies over and over again that mentality is wrong um i think they have to make people come back to the game every day because it's fun not because they have to to get flying um, i don't think that's good reasoning and i don't think that makes a good game design whereas um placing this currents all over the map just em emphasizes on exploring the map um, and seeing all the different places which can be fun and the world is pretty gorgeous in Final Fantasy 14 but the same can be said about uh, World of Warcraft as well so I think this system is superior to what's there in WoW um, and yeah so with that being said uh, I want to end this video thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one peace